Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sage Lewis from Search Engine Guide and this is the story of the week. This week, the story of the week is over at the Pandemic blog and posted by Giannis Sideropoulos. Giannis, I hope that's how you pronounce your name, but Giannis did an article on going viral with YouTube and did a small, tiny little study on what makes a video popular in YouTube. And uh, I don't know that Giannis has uh, made the definitive answer to this, but I thought that these were some really great points that uh, came out. Giannis studied three videos and, uh, that were very popular and then one that was not as popular. And the observations were this. It says, the first ob observation we can easily draw is that the number of friends does not play an important role in promoting a video. So that's pretty interesting that that is not always the case. Uh, and that is oftentimes contradictory to what is happening in the social world. So Janice uh, points out that some people have friends and some people don't and that type of thing. Here it says uh, one of the main factors that defines the success on YouTube videos is its submission in other social networks. So she found that videos that were stumbled and dug and that type of thing tended to get a lot more traffic. But you know, is that uh, is that helping their quality score or their 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 algorithm? Are they coming up higher in the YouTube search results for that? It's hard to say, it would just stand to reason if you get dug and stumbled a ton. Of course your video is going to be seen a lot. Uh, but I wonder how that plays a role in the algorithm at YouTube. Uh, however, that's not always a definitive thing because sometimes videos uh, Giannis found were not always highly stumbled on. Uh, and so, but then ultimately, the conclusion is these really successful videos that Gianna saw were that didn't necessarily have a lot of friends and subscribers in YouTube, but had a lot of friends in other social networks and were dug by important diggers. So uh, that is the the interesting thing. Also, quality is more important than quantity. Um, Channels that were were submitted to on a regular basis didn't oftentimes get as much traffic as sites or, or channels that had um, just a few videos. And then time of submission, which I thought was kind of an interesting thing. Uh, minor factor, Gianna says, but when your video is submitted when a lot of users are offline, it could very easily get lost in the archives. So this is a good first start, I think, on trying to deduce what makes a good uh, YouTube video. And I think we need to be thinking about this more so we can apply these rules to our own video making so we can get lots and lots of people to come out and check them out. Nice work, Giannis. Keep up the good work. I'd like to see more of these studies, see what else information, what other information you come up with, and it'll be uh, an interesting process. Okay, everybody, this is Sage Lewis from Search Engine Guide, and that is the story of the week.